Hello everybody, it is I, Sakamoto, and I am back here with more land soccer for you guys. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, um, so I'm having to play it a different way now in a window screen because, unfortunately, we can't find me to God bless you. Uh, using the church at all is just useless. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I don't know what happened, but I had to... <laughs> I had to do episode 4 all over again off camera, uh, basically. I, I killed a little bit, a few bit more monsters. As you can see, I have more gold. I think I have the same number of livestock, if not... Uh... No, I'm pretty sure I do, because I'm 99% sure I only got the ones I already got. Either way, uh... Here we are, we're gonna go up here real quick, see who this guy is. Oh, well... I'll show you who I'm talking about. That guy. I think it's I think it's Ludwig. But we're gonna go with the 100 percent positive by talking to him. Well, there's two guys here now. Oh, princess. <sighs> Julie. It is Ludwig. Lud Ludwig. Ludwig. I felt a bit sick, so I came out here. Princess Land? Where is she? Particular. Yes, particular. Actually, she's very hard to deal with. Perhaps her fussiness irritated the Duke so much, she sent her back home. Okay, so the same thing again. Blah, 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 blah. I know I didn't use that voice or whatever for him before, but whatever. That's the voice he's getting now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, press play. Then we're gonna go to Burst Tower. Anyway, I bring all that saving stuff up uh, about, you know, the game because we're going to probably be using the save slot mid recording just because uh, you know, certain dungeons it might be easier, especially because the dungeons are about to get harder and a lot more confusing. Most especially the second to last dungeon. Oh my gosh, that one is just. Uh, anyways, that, that's uh, King Knoll's Labyrinth. It's just. It's crazy. You'll see when we get there. Uh, distracted. We're going to Mars Tower. I want to save first, so this is how the saving's gonna look. <laughs> and then we just get right back to it. Unless I use a different slot, then it'll take like two seconds longer. Maybe. Something like that. Anyways. Sorry it's gotta be so you know, I don't even get to play in a full screen this time. I have to use a wallpaper that's black on left and right just to have not very distracting uh outside the game stuff happening. Town of Verla. What's up? On the left, and we're going to Merse Tower, so we gotta go this way. There's almost no monsters in it. I mean, well, they're, they're there, they're just. For some, okay, that's what. No, of course. Well, I hope he drops an Ike 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 very, very nice. I love nothing. I have got a golden statue. Hex, yeah. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I figured out an easy way to beat the uh, mummy in the crypt. So I got to keep my golden statue and statue of Gaius. And obviously, we still got the armament. I went back and got the blue ribbon in that one spot. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to visit this. Uh. Oh well. I'll find the other one eventually. Oh, thank goodness you're just a mushroom. And not a mushroom monster. Oh no, orcs! Alright. Oh yeah, I've gotten stronger. I don't know how many guys, uh, this, these guys are, how many hits those guys are actually supposed to take. But I was going between Ryuma and Mercator for a little while. And the uh, purple guys only take like three hits to kill now, so yeah, that was pretty cool. 
I think it's because we beat the Mer Crypt, or the Mercator Crypt. Okay, I hit a switch, as you heard, by going down there. And this is what the switch did. And we got a life sock. Hex, yeah. We're gonna save. <laughs> Real quick. Alright. There's a tree there in your way. Getting out the treasure chest. Uh, we can't do anything about it now, but we are going to get something that will help us at some point. Sorry. Okay. This right we had our Ike Ikes before we even get in the tower, even though it's right around the corner. I think this is where it is, actually. Like, you don't have to change screens anymore. Already got skeleton guys. These guys are a little bit tricky and annoying sometimes. I'll hold my shield out and you'll be able to hit them. Oh, they're not very strong, obviously. Nigel well held the armlet up over the entrance. The song here is pretty cool. Are you going up? Uh, are you going in at all costs? Yes. Anything I can do for you? No. Oh, I said yes. Whatever. But if you say no, he, it still doesn't say anything else and he just... I'm pretty sure. And he just opens the thing anyway. Do you dare come in? Yes, I think you had better go back. This is your first, like, actually kind of confusing dungeon. It's, uh, it's gonna be a doozy. Hopefully I don't have to look anything up while I'm here. So I have beaten this without using a guide before, at least this dungeon. And to be honest, everything after this dungeon, I haven't tried beating without a guide since I was a kid. I was able to do it as a kid, uh, believe it or not, but it was like, it took me a long time to get through anything, and my uncle helped me with some stuff, so. There you, there you have it. This game is pretty difficult. Okay, so I have to get on that first um, platform, and just immediately jump to the next one. Otherwise, it's gonna fall. Okay, I'm gonna ignore you. I don't know if there's a monster there, I can't remember. Oh, that was dumb. Why did I do that? I ain't going back down there, I ain't gonna fight that mushroom. I know what to do to get across. Stupid of me not to wait though. For the second one. Come on. No, oh, come on. Okay, it is a mushroom. Good to know. Oh man. Doing this again. Oh, I haven't equipped the steel breastplate yet. Oh wow, I have a moron. Lol. That probably would have been smart to do that before I got in the dungeon. Start facing mushrooms, I don't even have to fight. Come on! Alright, now we just wait. And then we go. There we go. No, I have to fight the mushrooms anyway. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Fart knockers. No, I can't. Wait. No, 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 no. The orc doesn't do shit. Okay. Golem, whatever. That was dumb. That was dumb. Now I lost another ikukukikukikiki. And, well, now I know how that works. Let's hope the detox grass will help. Okay, good. So yeah, even after an ikiki revives you, you're still feeling the status ailment. I don't know if it's, I can't remember if it's on a timer or not. Okay, no, no, go that way. Kill the mushrooms first. 
Jeez, we haven't even left the first room yet. And this is what's happening. Come on. Alright, you hear that sound? That means we open the door. Good. Now we wait for this. <sighs> this is my life now. <laughs> oh no, don't go. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh man. That's so embarrassing. Okay, come on. Come on. Come out, little mushroom man. Oh my gosh. I'm not editing any of this out. This is just too funny. I'm sorry if you hadn't skipped ahead or whatever. Okay, don't go through that door again. Come on, Sakamoto, you got this. <sighs> Come on, this evil tower amazes the Lord. Yeah, gee, really? This. This evil tower of mazes will lure and hold you forever. Once you set foot in this evil tower, you shall never escape. If you take the path of hardship, the hand of the goddess shall lead you. Hardship. That sounds exciting. Ugh, let's go. What's in here? Ah, oh, come on. The path shall appear if you have the courage to face the darkness of the pit. Oh yeah, we go that way and then there's there will be a walkway. Let's just go. Whatever. Uh, okay, mummies. These guys are fun. This is not as annoying as the first one we had to fight. Come on. Come on. No, they're floating up. You can't hit them if they're not on the same level as you. I don't even think that's just mummies. That's just monsters in general. In this game. Okay, we hit a switch. Now we can pro that that was probably the uh, activation of the thingy, the the, the thingy thingy munching you wingy. Um, where the, the mer sign was, where he said, if you go down this pit, the path shall appear. The path should be, the path should be there now because of the switch. That's what I'm trying to say. Go back now, and you'll be given something good. Okay. I said yes, but we're not actually gonna do that. Wow, a statue of Gaia. You mean an item that's really only useful in the face of monsters and crap? Something good would be like gold or something. Maybe a livestock. No, a livestock. Alright, there's the path. Gold or a livestock. Yeah, either one's good. Alright, so we got some mimics in here. Be careful, there's like two or three. Yeah. Come on. Alas, it was empty. I think there is a couple that have something in them. Either that or it's just you kill the mimics and you get their gold. Yeah, I should have known there was still... Okay, well that's it then. I was a dum-dum about the mimics. What does this do? I have to sneeze, I think. No! That's what that... That's what that switch does. Okay. Well, come on. That was done, Link. Come on, Nigel. Oh, come on. Oh. Alright. Oh. Cuckoo sticks. Oh my gosh, come on! There we go. Sometimes getting really mad it just makes your adrenaline go up, your brain hyper focus, and then you just do it, you know? I guess, I don't know. Maybe I'm just. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just spitballing here, I guess. What I'm trying to say. Come on. Okay, so I don't think I have any real reason to go back, I, at least I hope not. 
Uh... Yeah, can I put some mimic? Uh, he, 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 he. There's a mimic. Uh... Oh, great, we're back here again. Fantastic. I just saw some place there. Okay. So don't go left. I guess this is the only other way we can go. Oh gosh. No, come on. Oh, we have to use the garlic here. No. Oh, give me a break. Alright. Just use the garlic when you as soon as you get up there. And then he's like, pew, smell that. Yeah, the thing is Miro. Uh, three directions. Great. Form the place which warps space, carrying you to another realm. Why does my voice keep changing? Take care to keep your calm, for an empty room may hold the key. Uh, consistency, Sakamoto. Come on now. Oh boy, okay, okay. Yes, there we go. Come on. A wall of illusion may hinder your journey. What appears before your eyes may not actually exist. Oh yeah. There's an uh, there's a fake wall somewhere we gotta get into. Uh Okay. I think that's all that is, just me learning that. Basically. Oh look. Did we go up here? I don't think we did. Nope. Forks. Uh, if you haven't figured it out by now, I mean, you could have obviously figured it out with the bubbles. I think I already pointed out when we fought the bubbles that were different colors at first, but different color enemies as you go on of the same type. That just means they're stronger than the last different kind that you fought before, basically, if that makes any sense. Oh! This is cool. So this is obviously a priest who's dead, but he is not dead. He's undead. He will talk to you, etc. Look, uh, maybe he won't talk to you. But anyways, you can keep leaving and coming back here and grabbing more Ike Ikes, which is pretty nice. And you can save. Which uh, he'll, I guess he'll only talk to you if you try to save. It's record book. Hey, keep your Record. There you say yes. I got it. It's over. Still go on. Uh, uh, just you know, no, take a rest. Just uh, just for brevity's sake, you know. Okay. But anyway, what I'm saying is, the e geeks will fill up infinitely and they're free. So that's pretty cool. Actually, we can, might as well grab these two. Oh, la 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 la. Okay. I guess we're full on e so we might as well use a couple. stronger as well as you keep going through the game, obviously. I'm really doing that too. I'm repeating myself. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I 
think that's just the library where he tells you, ooh, there's a wall of illusion somewhere, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Is <sighs> that there? I think I know where it is. Pretty sure when I get there, I'll be like, oh yeah, it's this spot. Oh, I know what he's talking about. You guys will find out when we get there. Um, I don't think we've been this way yet. Yeah, we can. Go away! Go away! Oh, well. Well, this is what the library thing was talking about in any case. Holy crap, totally. Okay. Well, Mr. Mummy. Wish I could leave you like that, but I won't even make it across the way. Okay. Okay. Alright. Nope. Nope. I guess we need to hit some switch or something to get through that. What's over here? Nothing. That must be the switch. Come on. Sacrificing possibly some health for definitely some gold. I always use more gold in this game. Because if you're like really wanting to complete the game, the last thing you're gonna be able to do really after you've beaten it is get 99 life. Get to 99 life sucks, and there is a way to do it. Even if you found all of them, I don't know if they're all will. I can't remember if finding all the livestock uh, gets you all the way up to 99, but I do know that there is a shopkeeper at the end of the game, in the last town I believe, who will sell you infinite livestock, but they each cost like 900 gold or something. So, but you can leave and come back and buy more livestock depending on how much gold you have. So if you want to go out and hunt for gold, for however long it will take you, and get all the livestock, that's how you can do it. I mean, that's one big reason why gold's, you know, super useful in this game, but also, if you couldn't tell by how much the steel breast was, you, you will get to a point where you're gonna find some really expensive stuff, and you're gonna want gold for it. Like, there's some 1500 gold thing I have to buy at some point. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I should go, maybe after I finish the first tower I'll be able to do it. Um... I don't have any keys, so... Okay. Let me check something really quick, please. Sorry. Skip, go ahead and skip ahead if you want. I'll just... Just only take a second. Okay. <coughs> I don't know, maybe I'll... I don't know. We'll see. guys we're gonna have to leave the dungeon and come back because <laughs> I missed out on a couple things hope that's okay if you want to get back to the dungeon if you're looking at this like a walkthrough you can go ahead and skip 
I don't know, 25, 30 minutes ahead. Probably won't even take me that long, honestly. Maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Maybe even 10 minutes, I don't know. That was the way forward, which means the way back is this way. Yes. <sighs> hey, I'm annoyed too. I didn't want to leave the dungeon for anything. Uh, this way? No, I think it's the other way. Yeah. Oh god, this is gonna be fun to do again. Oh boy. Get up there. Hope I can leave. Okay, good. We have to go all the way back to Mercator. Oh man. You know it's sad? I don't think this is the first time this has happened to me. I think I went into Merge Tower, and then I looked at the guide, and I was like, Oh crap, I missed a couple things in Mercator. Maybe even the last time I played this. Uh, I am smarticle, I swear. I'm not a total dumb dumb. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Sakamoto. Okie dokie. <gasps> God, he could kick you, kick you. I low-key kind of hope I die because one of the reasons why we're going back is to show you guys something and to unlock a couple things, basically. At least one thing. Come on. Oh, I'm at... No? Uh, sorry, it's my sorry. What's this one? has this for change? Like, so this is one of the things I want to show you guys. I come here once a month with important goods. We send them to entirely on my husband and remote because the island is as open as it's far. We finish the living. We'll go on a spray green piece tonight. Yeah, that's one of the, that's one of the things I want to do. My name is going to the kind of thing your friends are. Please check out. What? So oh, you can see what our business is when you come. I've made my fortune here, so I'm going back to the continent. Okie dokie. Madame Yards gave her a fortune. Working as a ballet instructor. Oh yeah. Do you think those who buy a hundred EK at a time are stupid? So do I. Hey! Wait a minute. Wait, anchor. Wait, yo ho. Waves breaking. Wait, yo ho. Hey, yo. Let's go. This is the new number one song of the week on the con, I don't know it. This is Duke Mercator's by the pier. You can't go away. I, we already talked to you about that crap. I just forgot. <laughs> Alright. things. This is where you can buy Iki 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 Iki's cheapest in the game, I believe. 11 golds. Yes. Oh, gee, Nigel. Thanks for your help the other day. Why don't you buy Iki Iki directly from the farm? Yeah, I guess that's why it's so cheap. But yeah, you guys want to... This is the cheapest place to find Iki Iki unless you feel like going into Merz Tower where they're free. Ugh. Um, okay. Yeah, I know where we're going. Did you invest on that gold me? Yeah, if you say yes, something cool happens. Thanks, kid. Wait here, I'll double your money in a jiffy. I forgot all about this. 200 gold. I always repay the kindness I received to my silver. Got 200 gold. 
confused and everything over here. We're gonna go into actually let's just hmm. yeah, let's do it now. Hang on a second. We're gonna use the same slots. I'm gonna show you green peas. Welcome to Greenpeace. Step right up, have some fun, make some money. 50 gold for yeah. I think I okay for the viewers out there. This is how you play at Greenpeace. Throw the ball over the counter so it lands on the moving plates. The faster the plate, the ball lands on, the more money you win. 400, 150. If the ball slides off, you lose. You only have one throw. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, okay. I did not cheat, Mr. Green Peas. I swear. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. How much did it cost? Whatever, I guess we broke even. Oh no, I hit yes again. <sighs> okay. Well, now you know how green peas works. I'll try it like one more time, I guess. Come on, no, I want to do it again. I'll only do it one more time. Does it again. Okay, one more time. Yummy. <sighs> Uh, okay, I give up. No more, no more gambling for Sakamoto. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Uh, but don't feel bad, guys. There's different kinds of luck. Some people are lucky at gambling. Some people are lucky at other things. And I'm one of those people who's not lucky at gambling, apparently. <laughs> Just lucky at other things. Hey, skeleton. Hey, yeah, you, Mr. Big Black Skeleton. Remember me? Well, look at you, caught in a pen. Ha ha ha, come on. Huh, you look so tough now, do ya? Ha ha. Where the heck is this guy? The skeleton killed my many friends of mine. This is my regret. If he were out of that cell, I'd be no match for him. <laughs> wow. That's just in this little man. Yeah, we already knew that. We already talked to you. Let's. Where the frick am I supposed to go? I forgot. This town is so confusing. Nope. I know that's the witch's hut. This might be it. Nope. Wait, I know where to go now. Not Madame Lards. As that one person said. This way. I found it. Thank goodness. I kinda of think you'll give me a shot. I just, how have you been? I've been thinking hard about starting over, making a new life, and I finally made up my mind to change my job. Would you give me your opinion? Yes. How about a drugstore? Yes. You agree? Great. It looks like I'm a drugstore owner from now on. By the way... Oh, no, 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 We don't want the drugstore. Crap. Uh, hang on. Give me a second. Sorry. Ah, man.
Boy, I am just having a time today. Look at that. Where I needed to go is right here the whole time. <sighs> Nigel, how have you been? I've been thinking about talking about the blah 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 blah. No. How about a variety shop? Yes. You're free to have a cello at a variety shop over for now. By the way, would you do me a favor? I'd like you to go to the wholesale market at, at the Mercator for a warehouse. It opens when the ship from the garden docks here. Please go to the market and pick up the goods for me. Oh, it is with me today, man. <laughs> I'll stay here and fix things up. Bring this with you. It's a buyer's guild. Okay. So you get the buyer's guild card. Go to the corner store. Corner store. This place. The farm. The farmers market. I guess. Hey, you buy. You want to buy? You want variety goods? Surely you got thoughts. You got all kinds of items and of good quality too. Uh, you come in and look around the warehouse. You should find something you like. Okay. Speaking of the 1500 gold item, this is where you pick it up and from the other guy we just talked to at the shop, this is where they go and we buy them from him and we go from there. Anyway, and there's three other things you can get. Uh, specially selected goods are waiting for you, just for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Oh yes, spell book. Can I get Yes, send it directly to your shop. Oh yes, shortcake. Okay, yes, I'll send it to your shop. Oh, this is important, I think. Do I get yes? I think that's the 1500 gold item. But this, this statue. Uh, okay. I forgot what that does. But, there's one thing I do recall. And that's the ability to buy an item in this town. Not from him, apparently. No, it's from the other guy. Hang on a second. Dirk Mercat is now recruiting mercenaries and not attacking as well. They're having a victory celebration in advance. A bit after returning from the castle, he got the six died doll. Six! And then he became a ruler, so I had to throw him out. Toga, 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 hey you, Baki. Another round of doll delights. Have the taxes loaded yet? Did I get that mug guy? Who cares? Let's party. The women this town seem to be fun. Hell, it is. Some new cutie from the car. Yeah, we already know. <sighs> well, I was trying to unlock this thing, but it doesn't happen yet. Okay, you don't have it yet, but at some point we're going to unlock this thing called a bell, and it allows you to... It'll ring if they're in an area with the livestock. It's pretty cool, actually. Helps out a lot with playing them. Obviously. Okay. Nigel, what would you like? Whatever you want, just name it and I'll lower the price for you. Still too expensive, but that's the lowest I can go. Uh, that and this are really the only useful things you can buy here. And then the drugstore, I'm pretty sure, just sells like Iki Ikis and shit. I wonder if they're like. Hang on. No, I, don't, I don't need this. I really only need the Oracle Stone. Maybe the shortcake can be useful. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can get the shortcake. If it's like 200, I'll get it. But if it's anything more than that. I think I'll pass. Well, what do you know? We got the shortcake. So what that does is, depending, I, I'm guessing it's entirely dependent upon her mood. Friday will, you know, you, you offer it to her, I guess, and she either gets offended by it because it's called shortcake. 
get it. <laughs> or she's like, mm, Nigel, thank you. And she feels, and if she's offended, she depletes most of your health and destroys her Iki Iki's, leaving you with like one or two or whatever. I don't even remember. Or she fills them up and your health and everything, and you're like, oh, hey, look at that. Cool. Basically. We're going back to the tower now, finally. I think that was all we needed to do. We did green peas. We visited the farmer's market. We, uh, crap. Now, I need to see the priest. Wait, maybe not. Oh, thank goodness. This way. I'm just gonna not fight them. It's like, uh... Cat Morita said, the Karate Kid, those fights are the ones you can avoid. If you have enough money. You can your, you know, it's a video game. You know what I'm saying. I feel like it. I don't know. What am I even saying? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is what are we, what have we done with that in all these years? Pat Morita, aka Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Gotta kill these guys first. Good thing I wasn't, wasn't able to land on a thing. Come on, man. Don't you have anything better to do than nothing? Look, I killed your friend. Are you gonna get, try to get revenge now? Come on, man. I have to run into you. Yeah, great. Come on. Great, the dungeon I was actually lost on. Oh, no, 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 I know where we're supposed to go. We need to go... Remember the switch we hit? Yeah, we need to go to where we... Unlocked with the switch that we hit. Basically. Now, where was that again? <laughs> now where was that again? I'm sitting here clutching my back like where Oh hey, we do need to go this way. Okay, good. Waving my cane at everybody. Now wait a minute here. This episode, I kind of have been acting like an old man. This has been like, and now what are we supposed to do again? I'm sorry. <laughs> Hope you guys are having some semblance of fun with me on this. Uh. Oh, come on now. We're doing this again. Great. <clears throat> this is fantastic. I'm having such a great time. I don't even know if this is the way we're supposed to go. I wonder if we can just go without having to... Nope. Wait a minute. I'm a dum-dum. Get up there, man. <clears throat> Why am I dum-dum? Because it took me that long to notice that we had already got the treasure chest that you get by making it through that. And that that was in another direction we could go, but that was just a treasure chest. Oh boy, didn't I tell you guys before we left the dungeon, I was like, oh man, I'm not going to remember anything. We're going to be very lucky to get back to where we were fairly quickly. I said something like that. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Wow, wow. 
Okay, but you're facing this way, the sword comes from your left side. It won't hit any walls, but... Oh man, never mind. I was wrong. I guess either way. So, I guess the wall on the side, fine. And you know, because sometimes, yeah, sometimes this will happen. I guess it's from when you're from this perspective, but not from this perspective. Interesting. Uh, well, it's probably from the one in front. Anyways, I don't know. I thought I was trying to help. Uh, but I was just as clueless as everyone else. There were people who know more about this game than I do. Yeah! <laughs> Finger guns. <laughs> oh boy. I'm lost again. Wait! No? This way. Not this way. Once we get to where we are, we're gonna be pretty far into the dungeon already. I believe. Sometimes the next isn't that long. The thing that's hard about it is sometimes you can get to a place where you run around in circles. But I think we're mostly past all that. Nope. Well, at least we made it here. We can get some hizzle elves. Some tataka kaka saka saksa kaka grass. And save. place we need to go to. This way lands. Oh boy. Okay. Got some trizzle laps. Ouchie. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to do. There we go. This is the room they were talking about. Well, the first one, anyways. There's several. How do you know it's. I don't know where we're going. We're just going. As we go... Oh, hey, look. We may have already found the way we need to go. This way. Okay. Well... That's okay. Go 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 go
I really hope this is the correct direction. Okay, we got a livestock. Not the correct direction, but at least we got something cool. Oh boy. What have I done? Come on, get the per 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 My name's Idol. This is what I sound like when I die. I don't even remember where the frick we came from. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on, Nigel. Maybe this way? Oh, switch. Okay. I see how it is. I think I found the end of the level. Okay. Pretty close to the end anyway. Okay. I'm gonna be giving her that short cake pretty soon here, looks like. And I hope it doesn't screw me in the booty hole. This guy. I think you have to fight him. Okay, I got any k k k k k k k k k k k k k k k We do not have the key. Well, looks like we're gonna go find that. Oh man, we're gonna have to use that teleportation room to find the key. I came from the left, right? Uh. Hmm. Idea. Idea. I. I. Idea. Bottom. Didn't go to the bottom last time. Went to the left from here. Okay. God damn it. So close. Come on. Looks like a place we've already been. Right, maybe? Okay. Interesting. Sorry, I got a little distracted. Somebody texted me. Hmm. 
Well then. Okay, that must be the key. Uh, I can't move that thing, can I? Oh. I hope she doesn't kill me when I use this okay. Oh, thank goodness. Come on, Nigel. We got the key, we can go back somehow magically. Wish me luck, guys. Okay, this way again. to enjoy the shortcake if you wait till you're like have almost no try to give shortcake to Friday thanks guys little strawberry shortcake in my car oh thank goodness oh thank goodness oh my gosh thank you so much Friday Whew. I'm so worried but yeah like I was trying to say I think if you wait until you're like oh I'm in Berserk mode health, uh, you give her the shortcake, this is what will happen. It's more likely to happen this way anyways, but if you're like, have almost full e geeks, she'll just like, take your health away. More like, well more than likely anyway. I think there's a probability factor and everything. Okay. Uh... Yay! Well, yeah, off camera, when I talked to Zack in uh, Duke Mercator's castle after he asked me if I, uh, Nigel was the one that stole his... Oh, here's where we fight Mer. Miro, not Mer. Derpa derpa. Oh, he asked you if you sold it to Sash Egypta. I said no. He basically was like, no, it was you. He figured it out instantly. He's just like, yeah, I recognize you from the wanted posters. But don't worry, the 5,000 gold wanted for your head is penis to me, so. He's like, I won't say anything and I won't go after you or whatever. So here's Mark. You don't have to feel so ashamed. It's not your fault. You've done well. Now go back to the dust from which you came. Psst, sir, ought, flat, sit, top, and backwards. Let's put this elf to rest. Brave and man, you're the first person to reach the top of this tower. What is your purpose? Why did you come to see me? Uh, shut up! We came here to defeat, to defeat you! The people of Mercator will no longer bow down to your wicked ways. Yeah, they just get him. You won't. You won't listen. All right then. Come on. So this boss isn't too difficult. All he does is back away from you and throw fireballs. But you'll see. He's a little bit hard to catch. Oh man. I mean, you can use a statue guy, I guess. But that's really the only range attack we have right now. Oh, come on. Come on. You're close to me. Ah, uh, okay. I haven't even hit him once yet. Come on, man. You don't even take that many hits to kill. Got one. Come on. Three. Yeah. 
let me know in the comments if you guys have an easier time with this boss, because as you can see here, I don't. Come on. Now he's going the other direction. Uh, <laughs> I want my mommy. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got one. What's that? Five, six now. There we go. I, I, I lost. How strong you are. You shall have whatever you do desire. Give me the jewel. Also, stop extorting people from the good people. Stop extorting money from the good people of Mercator. The jewel is yours, but it's not me making the unbearable demands. It's the Duke. Really? He's my brother. Ever since we were little, his one ambition has been to conquer the continent. He'll commit any wrong to achieve his dream. I was gonna say, I thought he was gonna say wrongdoing. He finally shut me up in this tower because I used to admonish him for his crimes. Gosh, the Duke is such a... Yes. It's really the Duke who imposes this heavy tax on him. I just live out my life here, day by day, quietly waiting for a true champion to appear. This Mercator is only pretending to be a gentleman. What a liar! The jewel is downstairs. Once you find it, I'll send you back to the entrance to the tower. Oh, hells yeah, we're already done with this place. That was quick. It feels like it was quick. To me. I don't know about you guys, but it just went by like nothing. Found livestock. Hey, free stuff. Probably not gonna wanna come back here for any of this, so yes, we will take the eek 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 Both of them. Both of them! And then the jewel? Come on. There we go. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! Let me check something. Okay, we're just going back to Mercator. Sorry about that. Ah! Hold a save. We got 2008 gold. It's basically this is cool because it means we got 2000 gold. Yay! What did I come in here for? Ah oh, yes. I wanted to hit this old man with my sword. Have a good day! <laughs> no, I just... Um... Okay... The castle, I think, is where we need to go. Opening the salute? Do come in. Duke Mercator is waiting for you. 
same thing. Saving again. Huh. Yeah, the gameplay is a little animation so far. Mr. Nigel, you did it. If you're like in that little screen area, I guess sometimes. The Duke is waiting for you. Tell us of your exploits in the town of great detail. I think it's just said in detail, whatever. <sighs> Miss, Mr. Nigel, I'm very glad to see you. I'm anxious to see the jewel you feed from the tower. I always try to be one step ahead of the competition. Why, whatever's the matter? You look positively ill. Well, maybe the sight of a beautiful lady will make you feel better. Miss Kayla Kozlowski. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Duke boy, Oh Duke and I agreed to share the treasure that we know. You went to the tower for us. <laughs> what do you learn, boy? My voice is completely different now. Wally, eat, do you agree? Agree. <laughs> do what you do. You want to get the two? You want to go get two more jewels for us? Ha ha ha! Oh, oh. Oh. What a bunch of dweebs! Those treasures are mine, Shan! No way! Soldiers, take the jewels from Mr. Nigel! Red and purple jewels were taken away from Nigel! Mr. Nigel, have a good time with that silly old cow! Ha ha, they brushed me off the ledge, I can't do anything about it! Now we're finding dildo heads! Goodbye, dildo heads. You are not a dildo head, you are just a statue. Okay. Uh, we can jump up on this thing. Go up, 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 up here. Hey, how did you escape? You haven't seen the last of us. Give me the treasure. Give me those treasures. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, how did you escape? I'm not through with you yet. Okay. Well, that was a waste of health and then he go Okay. As you can see here, let the ball chase you around. Oh no. Well, somehow we made it through that. But you need to get it to chase you around. Time the jumps perfectly. Don't screw up like I did and just go different directions, you need to keep going the right direction around in a circle, step on the switches, don't slow yourself down, and you go through the thing. Somehow I was able to do it without wearing it. Oh crap. Oh no. I gotta do it again. Like this. Don't fall down that hole. I can do it this time. How are you two, three? Four or five. Okay. That's how it's done. I couldn't put it. I could, I could do an action, but I could not put it into words. This is why I often prefer to show people things rather than, you know, try to say it aloud. It's a lot easier that way. Also, it's just a lot more fun. What the heck am I doing? Aha! So yeah, I hit that guy and then the door opens and then you can go past it. This part's a little annoying. You're on a timer. Oh, wow, I can't believe I didn't fall. And if you don't make it to where you're trying to get to by the time the time's over, you have to start all over. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fart. Well, that happened. And us. Great. Fantastic. Oh, great. Just... Just just bear with me here, guys. Okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, man. Stop telling me you're a poo-poo head. Did I already do this? I probably did. 
Yeah, because that's what made this thing appear there. Let's just do it again, just in case. Okay. This time. This time I shall succeed. No! I changed the direction and I was pushing Nigel towards at the right moment, but it did not register. Oh, come on! I have to start all over. Oh my god. Oh, you're just, you're just waiting there to die. We'll get hit by this random thing that's right in front of you for no reason anyway. Ha 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 ha. There we go. For fork's sake. Uh, guys, ever see The Good Place? Oh my goodness. Amazing series. So good. I gotta watch it again. So good. So good. Thank you very much. I almost gave up hope. Me? I'm Morales, the Educational Minister of Maple. I'm the personal custodian of Princess Lara de Wisica. Well, where's the princess? I have to look for her. Princess. Thank you. Hells yeah. No, don't touch me. But please, don't touch me. Uh, what are you having to What? The game is in me. Take my key to lock the princess up somewhere in the castle. Save her! Oh my god! Uh, empty prison cell. Okie dokie. We saved Morales. We saved that lady. We found a dead guy. An empty cell. And a key. Let us go forward now. On what? To victory! Oh hey look, free stuff up there. We're probably gonna get to that eventually. I think. Whoops. Oh god, monsters. Goodbye, monsters. <gasps> no! Howie. Well, that was a bunch of booty in the butt. Eat my sword, man. I look more guys. Time for all of the boys to go to dead or bed. 
This is basically the correct option, so... So I can beat you senseless. And take your money. Guess what I'm not doing. Can you guess? That's right. Staying up there. That's what I wasn't doing. But guess what else I'm not doing, which was my original thing I was trying to say. If you guessed... Going up, you guessed wrong. I'm actually not going to go up yet until after I've killed them all. Again, because we want a little bit of extra money, why not? Alright, now we're going to go up. Oh crap, there's another dude up here. Forgot all about this guy. No. I looked away for a second because I thought I heard something weird. Such as a roach or something. Alright. Now we've made it to our destination. Which may or may not include another person to fight. Oh boy, it's Zack. Hello, boy. I watched your funny little adventure in Rust Town for the Rings. You know? I knew Duke Mercator was an untouchable man, but he is much worse than I thought. Still, I knew he'd never give us the gold armament. So while you were loitering in the hall, I found a new job. I'm sure this princess will carry a good price. <laughs> See you. You came to save me, right? Wow, cool. It's always been my dream to be saved by a prince. Wow, now get this house to save me. <laughs> Sorry. Lizard? I want to call me another lizard? Anyway, I forgot. My life sucks. And horrible voice acting. Uh, uh, stay there, or this noisy girl will fall to her death. Bye, Nigel. It was nice meeting you. Perhaps some other time. I'm flying, see? I'm flying! Say, are you licensed by the AFI? Uh, hey, Prince, please come save me! So you just fall down here. And that's it for the escape from the castle situation. Uh. Three the soldiers suddenly rushed into the castle. General Arthur is fighting, fighting against them. Okay. Guess I gotta go save General Arthur. That's what we're gonna go do, real quick. I'm going this way. Excuse me. I mean this way. Come on. Come on, controller. Aha! We found the destination of us. The end. Hey. Can't you see I'm trying to be cool and bad? Bars for the audience. What the heck is on my back? I'm gonna have to turn the fan on to show. Frick, man. Oh well, I can't worry about it now. I feel like voice critical in that freaking video where there's a boss trying to attack him while he's playing Dark Souls. I, I'm not fighting you guys again. This Holy crap. Oh no, I need to save him. Uh. So nice, my lord. The duke heard. My lord, the duke heard about the secret treasures from those three and stole away on the ship. After begging the lighthouse to prevent us from following him, listen. Go around to the east wall of the castle and open the door. There's a hidden switch to open the gate to Green Maze. The gate will appear at the fountain to fix the lighthouse. Thou must go to Green Maze and find the sunstone. Go upstairs and cut the armor. Hurry. Follow the duke as soon as you can. Turn around and get the treasures. He's a devil. Nigel, we're counting on thee to stop the duke. Go upstairs and cut the hum. It's already a million miles away. But yeah, this is why I even knew about this in the first place. Alright guys, I'm gonna check and see what the heck that was. Maybe it was just a piece of my hair falling down my back. I sure hope it was. Yes, I have long hair. Alright guys, 
thanks for watching this episode of Landstock with me. Playing it for you guys and having fun and zibbity zibbity zabbity blabbity doobity goobity goo doobity blibbity blabbity blah. In the next episode, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go to Green Maze and we're gonna do what's next in the thing of the thing thing the thing thing the thing the thing. Possibly get some Ika Ikas back down in Mercator real quick first though. But next episode, yes. Look forward to Green Maze. Love you guys. Have a great. Uh, hang on a second. Alright, I got this. Have a great! <laughs>